Hey guys, and welcome back to Arms You're Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Gunly Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we have been on the LZ Alpha for oh, 20 cycles or so off a thousand. And I have noticed that we've got a little bit of a problem with a heat transference down the bottom here. As you can see, was that going or does that stop? There we go. As you can see, we've got a situation where we don't have enough liquids flowing through here to keep the pressure up high enough to get this door shutting. And there's just a whole bunch of problems with doing that. I have gone into the future a couple of times trying a few different scenarios to fix that. And even by taking out these, all we end up with is all of this crude oil ending up flowing down here and causing a massive, massive trouble. So I'm not going to do that. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to make two of these tiles here. I'm actually going to put them up nice and high. And I'm also going to grab these over here and come down like this because, yes, that's right. It's time to go lava diving. I think we can bet. Uh, I think we can make a better heat transference device over here. I'm going to put this down to one kilo for now. My idea is to try and put, get in here using the magic of doors, dig our way down, uh, fill all of this in to force all the petroleum down this way and then dig it out, uh, put a bunch of temperature shift plates around to try and increase the heat transference and try somehow to get rid of that sour gas. I also want to make iron tiles down here, but I don't know whether that... Like, what temperature do they melt? What temperature do they melt? 1500, 1400, 15, 14. I mean, is that safe? Feels, it feels like it wouldn't be safe. <laughs> Okay, once we got down in here, we do, of course, have to rip everything out before we can fill it in and start getting all the petroleum out of here. This means literally everything, even the uh, the, uh, the the temperature shift plates, though the automation wire can stay, so that that's good, right? Dr. Captain Subs has been starving for a while. Why? 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 What has gone on over here? Why has this stopped? Water. Why has water stopped? So we can't get this cool enough yet. I mean, that's not the end of the world to try and fix, but we'll, we'll try and come up with a method there. But more importantly, what's going on with our steam generator? Oh, it's dormant. That's why. Let's start moving some things around to think about building a second one of these for cooling this all down. That's the second not as important thread. Disable the buildings again, I suppose. Let them out. Go get some food. Kind of important that they get food, right? As soon as we hear any complaints of burning, we're going to start uh, restricting their walking space. At least until we get, like, free and cheap energy everywhere, which is what we're after. No, uh, knew it wouldn't take long. Uh, decipher, my friend. Uh, fine, yes, I understand why you're down here, but no. Decipher and Brum, you two can't look after your animals today. Sorry. We'll be able to let them out. That, that would probably work, right? Okay, with the new tank in place, I could just destroy this little bit of pipe here and everything will flow in. But because I've got this mod, I'm going to do that. Uh, it's just a little bit cleaner, a little bit cleaner. And hopefully now everything... Ah, oh, we didn't want to do that, did we? We could totally pour it in via this. Well, anyway, this will now share out the liquids. All the liquids that are coming through will come into the, here and we'll just slowly, slowly start to build up a little bit more each time as this one will also send its content out and around. And when that's done we can actually get on to making a second one for the cooling of this. Oh, they have base problems today. I'm not sure how, but somehow this thermal aqua tuner broke. Oh, how did this happen? All right, who who is coming down to save the Dr. Captain subs? Hopefully this is like a very high priority for someone. Oh, look, Brum is allowed that. How did you get Turned your access off. How? I mean, cool, because you got a thing, but like, oh. All right, who, who is coming to get his friend? That's the big question. Who is coming to get his friend? Mimi. Mimi's coming to rescue friends. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because that could be a lot, lot worse than it was. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, that's cool. Oh, Dr. Captain Subs, you also cannot come in here. Thanks. <laughs> So the construction is actually moving along at a bit of a pace here. It's quite nice, quite nice. I'm going to open this up and let some of this liquid through because it's quite a lot. And I'm wondering what's going to happen when we get to the ladder. Because obviously I'm going to be able to put the tiles down, but then I'm like, we're going to have one tile here. As long as I can have a one tile gap, we could probably just keep pushing this over one one at a time. But all I want to do is dig to here, is to build to here. So that'll probably be fine. Uh, let's actually turn this up to 200 before it slaps shut. 
Uh, and uh, that that should hopefully just just get a bunch of it out of the way. I was kind of expecting to see someone coming along and fixing these. Uh, Mimi is on it, but where is she? Where is she? Oh, here they come. Here they come. I'm not sure why they're bringing materials from so far away when, like, legitimately this is where we're at. But, you know, whatever. whatever. Look, uh, igneous rock all around, and all I'm doing is building it out of igneous rock. Okay, so I've solved the mystery of the melting thermal aqua tuna because, of course, this steam turbine can't turn on to chill, chill everything down because it's too hot. And the reason that it's too hot, well, it's just too hot up here. But the other problem is that we've got too much petroleum at too high a temperature in this tank. So what I've done is gone ahead and cut the uh, cut the, the tank off out of the system and just cycling around the petroleum in here to, uh, to cool it down. We'll just try and get it down to a, a bearable temperature. So I've been on the second chamber over here in the hope that at some point I'll be able to build a second thermal aqua tuna, but the steel has got choked by the amount of iron we don't have. Funny enough, it's a bit of a weird one, uh, but, uh, but, but let's get down and have a look, shall we? So yeah, down here we've got the metal refinery, and just every now and then we run out of iron. You can see that we've got the iron ore to iron being processed, but it's literally like a one-for-one -one process right now. But hopefully, maybe this would have been the one that, that will get this all kicked off. As you can see, oh uh, no, we haven't even got any steel workable orders right now. That's, that's actually a bit of a shame, even though we've got all of the materials. What's wrong with that? No idea. They'll get to it, though. But yeah, I'll be making this box hopes to put down a second aqua tuna. But I've actually just decided that maybe we could run this up here. Because over time, I've been making this setup just a little bit more efficient. You can see we've got much more storage here. And hopefully, the storage will make it through. Actually, I've literally just built these last ones on the end here. So I know that this storage will actually run out just before. I mean, literally, like... 30, 40 seconds before the eruption period starts again. So I threw some extra batteries on there to hopefully keep this aqua tuna turning constantly because I believe it can actually keep up as long as we just only allow it to absorb this much heat and no more. We'll, we'll have to see how that actually works out. I just do, do know that it's going to take so long to actually bring this temperature down. So I will definitely be trying my best to get this other one up and running. And to that end, you can see that I have built myself another little contraption down the end here. I want to try and build uh, these over this way to give myself enough room to set up a new vacuum chamber. My my aim this time is to be able to put the tiles down here once we have uh, sucked out a complete vacuum. And I'm wondering whether we actually want to rip down this, this middle layer here and let this singular steam turbine run it all. But no. No, no, no. We'll put another steam turbine up. That'll, that'll be providing more power. Hands in the air, question mark. Uh, and that, that should work out for us. Of course, this is made out... Is, I'm hoping this is not made out of steel. That, that's my big worry there. No, we can make it out of iron. That's beautiful. Ah, awesome. So with this last piece in place, I should be able to throw... No, 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 no. We'll leave that switch open. Ask this building to be turned back on. As you can see, I find it very important that this building gets turned on and off when I want it to be. We'll turn this pump on, and hopefully now we should just start removing all the uh, the gases out of here. Ooh, Cycle 1000. Still waiting for this gas to get dr uh, drawn out of here, but Cycle 1000. Oh, look at, look at what we've done, guys. Look at what we've done. We're on the very brinks of brink of collapse every day. But we're here. We're in the future. Oh, it's amazing. Okay. Vacuum achieved. We're going to throw this switch and close the door. And now, hopefully, big hopes, we can deconstruct this tile, deconstruct this tile, and put these two in place. Ah. Uh, no automation wire connected. Ah, oh, there's always something, right? There's always... Ah, all right, well, we got to go back. we got to get back in there. we got to do a thing. Uh, look, there it is. This is where it belongs. Right, I need a, a piece of iron wire. Thank you. It goes uh, right there. That's what we're missing. To the highest possible uh, priority, please. Thankfully, when Miska went in there, she didn't actually trigger uh, let too much oxygen through. And once again, the same system has happened. All right, this is, this is really cool. We only let a few grams in, micrograms of the polluted oxygen. Yeah, yeah, we'll just let this pump through. Okay, whilst that's pumping through, down we come down to here. Remember, remember when we were going to be doing this? I'm going to just destroy everything there. And I think I want to start sweeping stuff up as well. Uh, I want to destroy these tiles so we can get down here to the obsidian. I'm not sure whether I want to, like, crack a hole in this one and let this sour gas out. But I'm a little bit worried that, you know, a thousand grams of magma might come spilling out quite, quite much. I mean, that said... 
it, it seems to be quite stable. It would have filled up here if it was uh, if it was that uh, that dense. I suppose is the word I'm looking for. Where it, where it all just like spreads out. Oh no 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 no! Uh, hey Mimi, how you doing? No 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 <clears throat> no! Thanks, but but no. Okay, bit of a problem down at the lava layers. I can't build a temperature shift plate through the diagonal. I'm going to try taking this tile out just to be sure, but the fact that I can't build it this side also makes me a little bit suspicious of it. Uh, I don't want, given the way that it flowed right up into this magma and the sour gas is the only thing keeping the magma out of here, I don't think I'm going to puncture this, uh, this layer here if I can avoid it. Okay, how does this work out? We get Okay, so we can get down to that temperature shift plate. That is... A little bit awkward, if I'm to be honest. It means I need to try and, like, take these ones out. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm really confused why this one and not this one. Like, what? What? <laughs> one thing I do want to try before we seal this up properly. So, uh, try and build some diamond plate, uh, diamond floor down here. I think it's a good spot for having highly conductive material. Also, I'm totally pushing temperature into this insulated, uh, tile here. But that's gonna have to be fine. Okay, is Miz gonna die from this? Uh, uh, we're just gonna watch. Just gonna watch. We're reloaded, me. Be okay, that's fine. That's fine. I was a little bit worried there. Like, majorly worried. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm super worried that this stack might actually be a bit much. Thankfully, the new day has just been called and we can uh, get a quick save it has literally just quick save so what i'm gonna do is put these down as a super high priority and let's watch a bad thing happen i've got a feeling that actually this is going to be a horrific uh, over the top heating process 1400 degrees i just i don't know guys i just don't know we definitely wanted to have got that in there much quicker where is uh, is it mad frank Who, who's actually going to be coming down here to do this all right here we go i the, wait for the sour gas to get going but once that's done what's next i mean it kind of feels like we're taking the temperature out right let's try and rip this lock down cancel the deconstruct there and put the second ladder down in fact okay this is good nothing's flashing into st into sour gas really we kind of did that bit it was a, a fair amount but not that much to worry about we're dropping down the layer over here uh, i was kind of hoping we'd have more to be honest i was kind of hoping this would have more of an effect well, we appear to have got up to temperature or something. Are we just adding to the sour gas? I don't know what's going on here. Let's have a look. We've got nine kilos up here, give or take. Uh, I don't... I don't rightly know, to be honest. I don't rightly know. I mean, we don't appear to be trapping an insane amount of sour gas, so that's all good. All right, let's leave this uh, warming up and come over here and see what's going on up this way. Okay, everything's looking good, but of course we need to start getting some liquids in the cooling pipe. This one is going to be the cooling pipe, and I feel like we can take it up and around. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is take it up and through these liquids here. I totally made that out of radiant pipe here, and that is not what we need. This is where we want radiant pipe. I'm going to come through like that. We're going to go around the outside and then try and cool down the stuff at the top here as well. Uh, and then I'm not sure whether we're going to go through some more over here or just go straight to this downwards pipe. I will have to find out. But i tell you one thing that I have noticed is that I have made a little bit of an error here. I totally want to connect this over this way and start sending the liquids around the further loop. Uh, and uh, this brings to my attention that I've got this bit of pipe work here that didn't really need to be connected to this we could quite easily have moved this one over this way and we can take all of this out i'm not going back inside but i will be taking the rest of the pipe work out and connecting that up to there disconnecting this and this ah there we go beautiful wonderful amazing and thanks to that little pipe kajigger that we just did there, we can actually go around without having to go inside the hot tank. Uh, that's even better. They, they didn't want to do it anyway because of these doors. But yeah, we've, uh, we've worked our way around it. Beautiful. Another thing I want to get on with is, of course, trying to fill these tiles back in here. I'm hoping that we can just leave it like that and it will happen in the background. We'll, we'll find out, obviously. Oh no, I just I just watched some lead melt from somewhere. Where, where did that lead melt from? This is all iron, so I don't think it's going to be from any of that. Look, look, there goes another bit. What on earth? Where have you come from? Oh, and look, it did happen. This got all built in the background. Beautiful, beautiful. So what we actually want to do is to run this like down here then. Ah, oh, that's nice. And we can start thinking about destroying everything. But we want to try and get some sort of coolant liquid into this tank over here. And as you can see, I have hooked up a bridge because I feel like this might be the stuff that we are going to take. Let's just hit that and uh, 
start start pouring it in there. Let's see what happens. Of course, we do also have one more other problem of where we're going to power this bad boy from. Uh, so far, I've got it over here, and you know, I may maybe maybe we'll leave that hooked up like that. But honestly, I feel like this wants to come off the main grid. Maybe. Okay, so we've just had another auto save, and that means I'm gonna try something crazy. I'm gonna push this up here, and I'm gonna pull that down there, and I'm gonna get this split, and I'm gonna go across there. We're now gonna be trying to cool down the petroleum in here using the power of the ethanol that we have kicking around here. As you can see, it is actually very cold, so I'm hoping that it will lose a fair amount of its heat. I also wanna go in here and start swapping some steel for, for temperature again, uh, and, and hopefully, hopefully this won't lead to too much of a a runaway issue with the temperature. I, it is going up pretty quickly. I'm going to keep an eye on it. If it goes above 40, I'll seal it up. Okay, so all of these little bubbles have been through at least once. And you can see that the temperature is actually cooling down as we go back through the system here. Working out pretty well for us. I'm a little bit worried about this blob of ethanol here. As you can see, 37 degrees is quite high. But all the other ethanol is doing all right. We've even got, like, minus numbers down here, which are very good. Uh, Mad Frank's coming to fill this in. Not quite yet, buddy. Not quite yet. So as suspected, the extra draw of the second thermal aqua tuna is not enough for this stack of batteries to keep up with. I mean, to be fair, this was enough for one thermal aqua tuna. So maybe if we copy it out again, maybe it's worth... Do, do we? I think we... Yeah, I think we're going to do it. Well, I would call the fact that this turbine can now turn on a roaring success. All right, we want to deconstruct. How much, um, how much steel do I have right now? So it says I've got enough to go ahead and do this. All right, do I want to rip this down? Now, it is nice and cool in there. Let's just, uh, let's just make sure this is nice and high priority and also make sure this is nice and high priority and we'll get this all fixed. Well, the good news is the steam vent has come back online and I've managed to put up a power regulation output here. It used to be just that the power flowed out and away here. Uh, I'm now making sure that these batteries get serviced first before this battery has to top out and turn all the power on. Up this way, everything seems to be turning over quite well. Let's put that back in there. I've asked these to chill everything down to about 20 degrees. Once that gets down there, I'm going to disconnect this. I mean, we might even do that right now. If I just go ahead and do this across here and snip this like that, uh, this should now just all pour back into a chilling loop, uh, which will be cooled down by the aqua tuna as long as it has power. <laughs> That's a, that's, a, that's a big as long as, you know? Oh, that's so much lead just floating on top of all this. We're gonna have to try and get it out. Look, 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 I think these were little pockets of lead that have melted out. I think that's probably what's going on, but we've managed to do very well at trying to warm this all up down here. You can see 500 degrees, wait, 500 degrees? Why is this not turning off? Because it is currently lower than 500 degrees. Wow, that's a, a very scary number to see there because of course we don't want the petroleum to go over 400 degrees and to have 500 degrees just kicking around here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring this down to 350. Let's see what happens if we do that. That's going to open up. That was a scolding problem. Hey, trap. Now, nah, you're, you're all right. You'll, you'll find your way out. It's no problem. Uh, at least you're not on the wrong side of the door. And as you can see, these temperatures now come crashing down. Uh, I don't know how far this one's going to come crashing down, though. Maybe, maybe we went too far. Maybe... 380 is the winner. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll play around with these numbers down here. But, of course, we're still waiting for the cooling to happen over here. Still considering whether to put an aqua tuna into this loop or not. Um, but the, the temperatures are coming down. Uh, have we got... No, we've got steam, but not much carbon dioxide. These are troubles. Also, it's not hot enough to warm up the water anymore. You know, you're right. I think we could do this better. Let's bring this one up here, um, and we'll probably disconnect this for the moment. I want to come up here. Uh, I also want to disconnect this. And I reckon if we do this, we get at least one extra pipe of, uh, of cooling. You can see I've moved the, uh, the bridge here over one so we can uh, send the water out this way. We get this nice little horseshoe shape of cooling and hopefully this will all just nicely filter out here and keep this, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Extracting more temperature out of here, hopefully, because we have already dropped 10 degrees, but man, we could do with going a lot quicker. I mean, we're going in at 7 and we're coming out at 15, so like, I don't think we can do much better than that. Oh wow, this is, this is all molten lead. Oh, there's, there's a lot here. Oh, it's not, it's not, thankfully. Thankfully it's not, but wow, it's still so much. 
Okay, so a melting lead wire has shown me that actually I have had this thermo sensor set up wrong. Now, this leads us into big problems. Oh, big problems. How do we fix this? How do we fix this? How do we get someone in there to even begin? Uh, it's literally going to have to be a liquid lock. I hate them. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I've got a crazy plan, guys. All right, so uh, first off, we need to dig through here, which brings us awfully close to all of these zombie spores. I'm going to move the, the roof up just a little bit uh, because, yeah, as I say, we need to get through here. I don't know whether I actually, because I did move this up, I might want to bring it back down because it did look a lot better when it was just that single. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going we're gonna to go through here, and actually, we're going to go through this, this abyssal light here, and we're going to deconstruct this wall and this wall here because we're going to start trying to extract the power uh, the heat sorry from here and passing it over this way the more i look at this the more i'm like isn't that this guy's job <laughs> of course the big question here is when are we going to get in there to be able to do this i'm going to have to put this a pressure like into something that's never going to happen you know if it's um or something that's always going to so it keeps being closed so uh it's currently well we just press zero right it will never get there at that point never get there so then when the temperature is reached the boat all the doors will open and the duplicates can come in here gonna take a while though there's quite a lot of liquids in here i put this up to 500 just to see if it like it would clear through quicker uh no no i don't think it does to be honest it may leave us with a bigger pool on the other side to to pull from that 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 would be cool oh wow there is some super heated carbon dioxide in here it's just come out at like 300 degrees melting my steel pipe whoa okay we need to do something about that and actually we need to do something about that on the super red alerts because oh my gosh nighttime's just got cooled and then that well they did that then nighttime got cooled crazy crazy these slicksters having a good time though these slicksters having a great time need to try and get them back in somehow we'll figure that out in a second Oh, lover, why are you stood there, miss? What are you doing? Oh, it's so scary. Please don't do that. Oh, this game does like to trick you. Okay, I, th I think we're good for the moment. On the plus side, all that polluted water that I was trying to vaporize. Vaporized? Okay, let's try this. We have got molten slicksters. I want to auto wrangle down at zero. Is that is that going to be a thing? I kind of hope so. Uh, turn that right up. Who is on the Brum and Decipher? Okay, e either one when they get to it. I bet they're both running on stuff at the moment. No, okay, cool. As cool as it is having them eat in there eating up all the petroleum, uh, not the petroleum, the uh, carbon dioxide, eventually they will run out and start starving. So we need to get them back over here. Thankfully, the, the, uh, the auto Auto wrangle seems to be the winner. Decipher bagging them up, running them through the the, the place here. Where are you going to put them? Okay, into this one. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So that this will take up to the number that will uh, su be supported in this area. Oh, I like that the uh, liquid tepidizer is working again. It's saying it's not submerged in liquid, and then says it is. And uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. But thankfully, this temperature injection seems to have worked out quite well for us. At least on this side, vaporizing all the liquid water or the the, the polluted water. Okay, next thing is to try and make these pipes here, right? And I think the way we're going to do it is by lowering the time mean, we're almost there let's let's just put this up to 220 uh the the pump can take it so that should be fine and now if we go hey could people come along and do this at the top priority please people should come along and do it at the top priority well, we've kind of got to watch this a little bit closely at the moment things could go very wrong very quickly let's yeah let, let, let's just cut these for the moment and then we can totally oh, i bet i've just ripped up some automation or something no 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 we're good we're good uh but now now that we've got this we can uh totally interact with this as we need to so i feel like i want to cut this one here this one here pull this across and this across and yeah that should work for us that should work why are you going up aha okay 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 i see what's happened there we're gonna break it here instead then oh as soon as i get the right tool break it there and then the pump should bring it around and let it all down it's not really pumping it's just a liquid bridge uh we're definitely gonna need more petroleum here but thankfully there's a di direct line right here where we can top up from probably want to get rid of this lot as well no! 
Okay, well, fair enough. Definitely going to need to get the liquids out of here. Uh, I need Luna to go and move that. Okay, let, that door's now going to be closed. I totally wanted to have left that door closed anyway. And uh, I guess we're going to open this one until we can get everyone... All the liquids out? Ah, oh, it's not great. It's not great. Okay, we've got a fair start on the pipe, so I think it might be worth uh, going back here and going, well, what are, we, what are we gonna put these on? I think a 200 might be a thing. Of course, the first thing we need to do is try and get these bits of iron picked up, and the way we do that is to come up here. I'm going to empty this box out so it's got bunches of room in there, and go, hey, someone grab all the stuff that's asked being swept, please. I find it interesting that people are emptying Sweepy's dock into this storage bin. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah I get it. Okay, so that's all the stuff out of the, the main heat chamber here. We're gonna put this back to let's go 300 let's hit that nice happy medium between the two uh, and this should now start letting some liquids through again we've not backed up too much out here that's pretty cool uh that all that does actually imply that we've not made much oil i mean there's two ways of looking at that right what happened what 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 even happened i don't i don't get it uh did we did we put some some lead in i don't think so let's have a look petroleum petroleum Ah, oh, molten lead. Oh, how did it happen? I mean, cool. Cool, however it happens. Uh, I don't want to actually mop that right now, do I? Because it's going to be the thing that allows my people inside to fix this. This needs to be a super high priority, though. Um, yeah, I mean, it's very hot. It's very hot. Uh, come, on, come on, Mimi. You got, you got it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Okay, so now we're in this situation. We need to think about how we're going to deal with this. The current pressure is 100 grams, so we're just going to go that. If uh, if below 100 grams, okay, let's go 99, and we'll just we'll chill this bit down. That that'll be fine, right? That'll work out, hopefully. It, we got a long way to go, though. We got a long way to go. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't know that other people than ranchers could carry people from, uh, carry critters from one post to the next. Look, here comes Mad Frank. I believe he's the other one that was the, uh, the confusing one. If I click on the cr critter drop off, you can see that. Oh, oh, oh. I uh, hear it. Here it is. It was on the other one. Sorry. It was on this one. Mad Frank has just bagged them up. Uh, and, and over here, look, Mad Frank, current, uh, current. Current errand. I don't know why the word errand just left me there completely. Current errand. Uh, well, off he goes. What, what is this craziness? I really thought that was a rancher only skill. You might be wondering why I've not stolen the petrol out of this coolant loop over here. I it was tempted. I was very tempted to do so. If I just like bridge over the hair, it'll drop down and I will just top this all up. Uh, but th this is still not proven technology. At any moment, this could just fail on me for an unspecified reason that I wouldn't have seen coming. Uh, and then it would be nice to be able to swap back to this system over here. So uh, yeah, that that's the actual reason why. Well, the actual reason why is I didn't think about it and then, then it became a bit much of a hassle. But... It's nice to have a fullback. <laughs> what just happened here? So some, for some reason, this has just hit red alert. Uh, I don't actually see any reason. I think we must have just dropped some really stupendously hot water on top of it. I think that might have been it. I, mean, I was thinking to myself earlier that the pump can take a lot higher temperature than we're actually letting through. I mean, I could just go 250 and let that that go through, and that will kickstart this whole cooling process a lot quicker if we could get this full, uh, these pipes full. Okay, there we go. 250 has been reached. It's flowing, and the pipe is sucking. Okay, it's going to go up, and it's going to immediately start splitting up. The thing is, we're going to have a little bit of a process where we're going to... Like, I'm just going to say deconstruct. Almost certain that already, yeah... We're we're going to be uh, having too much in there. That's no problem because we just ripped this down and we ask uh, Luna, is it, who's got the, the power of emptying of the pipes? Uh, we'll, we'll ask her to do it on like the end bit of pipe here. Okay, with all the pipe work out of the way, let's ask for this to be emptied here. Let's go to super high priority, so hopefully Luna will come across straight away. She is the only one with the skill. We're going to have to uh, figure out if they can get someone else doing that at some point. It's always nice just to have someone as a fullback. Uh, I mean, Mimi does seem to be our general just backup girl for everything. It was, was, was that it? I mean, good, good start. Not quite what I wanted. Let's try this corner pipe here. Let's see if that works any better. Let's uh, once again call her over with a high priority and see see what happens at the end okay here we go is it gonna work out well no i'm uh, not uh, uh, all right we're gonna have to ask just for every pipe to go i bet i bet if we left the pipe work in place we could have got it all coming down towards yeah almost definitely 
Get testing time. Let's find out if what I've just said is true. I'm going to put a liquid bridge in place because it, it sucks, right? Liquid bridges suck. Uh, so we should be able to do that and then ask Luna to take out uh, the extract extract pipe, pipe contents. Uh, and hopefully that will work out better for us. Okay, already it has pulled all the liquids forwards. That's pretty good. Let's then pop this here and see if that's the one marked for emptying. Uh, next next job, let's just let her do whatever it is she's out there doing. Uh, I'm sure it was very important. Probably just sweeping up some, some debris on the floor. But it's a hard job, me going around, like, making all this mess. And then Lu Luna's pretty much the only one. It was Luna and Jelly, right, going around tidying up after me. I definitely overwhelmed their, their their services. All right, here we go. Luna, is are we going to get all of the all the petroleum out? Yes, there it goes. Beautiful, beautiful. So I grow confident in our ability to produce petroleum here. As you can see, we've got quite the backlog. So much of a confidence that I am, in fact, going to make another petroleum generator. I did have to watch out for the cooling line coming up here, which I think, once again, now that we've had a whole bunch of changes uh, to the system, we can, we can totally upgrade this. Like, this liquid vent could just, just literally go there now. We don't need the liquid shutoff valve because the update came along and changed the way liquid valves work, uh, liquid uh, vents work. So that, that could definitely be a thing. And also, I'm thinking, do we... Do we really want it doing what it's doing right now? Pumping into here? Well, yeah, one of the things we want to do is extract the water. But I just, I feel like something's wrong here. Wait, how, how did this end up completely empty? This totally shouldn't have triggered the AND gate after we hit the low threshold. Hmm. Okay, one thing left to do before I'm like, yep, we're done here. Uh, oh, that turned to steam very, very quickly. Let's just very quickly turn these back into insulated tiles. Uh, so quickly, in fact, that I want to do that. All right, um, hmm, thinking. <laughs> Thankfully, Mimi fixed it anyway. Would have been nice if she'd done the tiles at the same time, but okay, here comes Luna to do it. We're going to just have to leave that bit of lead there by the looks of it. Uh, it's a shame that we we found ourselves in this situation, but that's where we are. That That's fine. I'll, I'll live with that. I hear it's actually a big problem, but it's fine. Yeah, we did get a little bit of overheat temperature here, but that, that should also work itself out as time goes on. It'll get repaired. It's iron ore, literally the cheapest item we have on the map. So, wow, well, I, I, I think it's probably the cheapest. It's one that we're making constantly anyway. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have sorted out a cooling device for the water because we didn't realize how bad the oxygenation system was. But more importantly, we have sorted out the petroleum generator down here again. Uh, I'm not sure how many times we're going to get around to doing this, but the cooling system, the heating system is working incredibly well. The cooling system, the changeover, I think has worked incredibly well. Uh, I'm yet to see the steam turbines turn on, uh, but it all looks like it should work out a okay I'm a little bit worried about this in the insulative properties of carbon dioxide down here. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we are going to go around and try and get into space. I keep saying this. That's where we're going, honestly. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.